So they put me in a CAT scan. And I come out of the CAT scan and I sat up. I had my third sudden cardiac arrest. I mean, they told me that I had 90% blockage in the one, uh, 80% and 60% in two of the other arteries. And that they were gonna have to do bypass surgery. But the only question that I asked, I said, is this gonna be the end of my running career? Joe, you had four heart attacks in two days, and you're a really serious runner. Can you tell me about that? I ran the Boston Marathon in 2007, the first time. I've run it more times than that, and ran a 100-mile race through the desert in 80-degree temperatures, 80 and 90-degree temperatures. So were you surprised when you had all these heart attacks? I was quite surprised. I mean, I, I had no expectation that I had those kinds of issues. I had no symptoms prior to it to, to make me realized that I had a problem going on. When it hit, it, it was, it took me out so well that I didn't have a chance to really think about it. So you end up needing triple bypass surgery. What was the first thing you asked when you came out of surgery? The first question I asked is, will I be able to run the Tokyo Marathon on February 25th? One of the big six marathons in the world. That was how many days? 66 days post-surgery. That I, I had to do it. I had to do it, you know, I and mean, that was a sort of a driving thing in my head. And the surgeon, uh, he said to me, he said, well, first you have to heal. Once you heal, then you can start running again. And once you start, can start running again, if you can train enough to do the marathon in 66 days, go for it. What was the rehab and training like? <sighs> Difficult. It was a slog. It was, do I really want to do this? It was pretty miserable very slow, kind of plodded along, kind of felt like I was 100 years old. It wasn't fun, but my determination was, you will do this. If this is what you need to do in order to get to the goal that you want, you will do it. And so I would get up and I would get out there and I would run and I would dislike it. It was no longer fun, no pleasure in it whatsoever, um, but I, I did it. What was that race like? And what was it like to be at the starting line? I got worried, a little bit worried. Am I gonna be able to complete this because they have a time limit? I ended up finishing it in six hours and 35 minutes, which was the slowest marathon I ever ran. Uh, but it, it felt great. I mean, just the accomplishment. Not while I was doing it. While I was doing it, it was like, am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna get there? Was that your biggest victory, do you think? Actually, I think the following week was. The following week, I flew from Tokyo to Bhutan, and I ran a marathon at elevation at 7,000 feet. And I did it a half hour faster than I did the one in Tokyo. What does running mean to you, and why do you love it so much? Running to me is freedom. It's the freedom from worry, it's the anxiety. There's a certain sense of, of just going out there and, and being free. I didn't care where I run, it, it just, really is a sense of freedom. So what do you think somebody can learn from your story? If you want to do something and you really want to do it, you got to work at it. You do what you need to do in order to achieve that goal. You need to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning because you're working at, at 7 o'clock. In order to get the miles in, you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you run. You do what you need to do in order to accomplish that goal.